Hey guys, what's up? So I'm here in the doctor's office for my mom. She's having some cancer removed or possible cancer, I think it is, off of her face. They call it a mode surgery or node surgery. I don't know, it's on her nose. It's gross. So anyhow, so that's why I'm here. I'm here with my mom. And then the nurse and I were having like a 15 minute discussion about Disney because she had just went. <laughs> I was getting so mad. Oh, anyway, so that's where I'm at. Hey, what's up, my magical Mickey family friends? <laughs> oh, what's up, guys? So, this happened yesterday at our dance studio. Planning a wedding, because I'm... Yeah, that's Courtney with the girls holding out her engagement ring. <laughs> if you follow us on Instagram, you see that I already posted it. I was so excited about announcing that my daughter, Courtney, my oldest, is officially engaged. We already kind of knew about it because he was so sweet. He asked properly and asked my husband's permission if he could marry Courtney. That was a while ago. So we already knew um, that he was going to ask her. We also already knew that she was going to say yes. So we have a year of planning a wedding now. <laughs> Next fall is when they're going to have their wedding. Um, and we're going to cover all of the events of throwing a wedding on this YouTube channel. Now the fun part about this is that um, Courtney is like such a Disney fanatic like me. Um, she was able to get the coolest ring ever. He got her the 70th the Cinderella 70th anniversary special engagement ring that came from Zales, I think worked in conjunction with Disney. So this is our, this is her ring. It has a little carriage on the inside. Um, it's a Disney signature ring and it's Cinderella and Cinderella is her favorite Disney princess. So, you know, this guy is the deal for Courtney when he does something like that. So, um, her engagement, like, bridal shower is going to be Harry Potter themed that her sister's going to be putting together. And then, uh, her actual bachelorette party is going to be a float trip this summer. So that's going to be crazy. Don't know if I can take you guys along for that. Cause I'll probably lose the camera in the water, but we'll film some of it. Um, maybe I'll get a special kind of camera for that. I don't have one of those like a GoPro or underwater camera. Maybe I'll get something like that for that. So that'll be fun. Um, I still have my May trip, my Disney uh, May trip, my solo trip. It may turn into a couple's trip. I think my husband might be going with me. I'm trying to convince him to go. If not, it'll just be me. Um, and then I don't know if I'll be taking another trip until 2023. I'm hoping I will. Um, if Because the wedding, I don't know if I can afford it. So if I do go, it'll just be me. In 2023, I want it to be Aubrey. Um, I love that she's had since 2019, since she was three years old, she's gone on a Disney trip every year. So I'm hoping in 2023, if it's not, if I can afford it, it'll be me and Aubrey. I just wanted to update you guys and let you know about Courtney being engaged. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited for her gonna be a lot of fun. So now I am having some of this, it's called PT's Coffee. It's a new company here, or a new drive-through coffee company that's across the street here in Topeka. 
I got kind of a vanilla cold brew thing for them. I told them like kind of what I get when I go to Starbucks and this is what they came up with. Have not tried this yet, so let's taste this. Like, yeah, it's good. It tastes like the coffee I make at home, but it's not a salty caramel brew. It's good. Then I got this. Now this I like a lot. And it actually reminds me of Disney too because the way it's put in this box. But look at that. It is this croissant ham and um, egg and cheese croissant breakfast thing. And it has like some, looks like parsley or something in it. It's really good. It's very bougie. Okay, so mom is done. But look at this picture. I think Aubrey's getting a puppy. <laughs> Madeline moved out and she's back into the apartment and they've been talking about getting a, a dog and she sent me this picture just now. So I'm going to run to the puppy pet store <coughs> and get some dog food and dog bowls. Oh, I'm so excited. Aubrey's going to be so excited. Okay. That's what I'm doing right now. Mom's done. And then I'll show you the puppy. So, Aubrey and I... You made this one. Yeah? yeah? She came home from school. How was school? Was it awesome? Good. Yeah, are you guys getting ready for Thanksgiving at school? Yeah! Did you learn any Christmas songs yet for your Christmas program? We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah. So what we're doing right now is uh, make it cookies. We're make gonna cookies. make some Christmas cookies. cookies. But first, I gotta clean my kitchen. And we need a bowl. And Aubrey needs a bowl. And we gotta clean off the counter. So that's what Aubrey's gonna do now. Okay. So we made some sugar dough, and Aubrey is rolling out the dough. Yeah. Are you having trouble? No. You know, you can also pat it down with some flour on top of it. So, and then all you got to do is take one of these cookie cutters and then put it in there and then we'll put it on the pan. Let me tell you something. So the whole reason why we are doing cookie baking is because there's a little PPY that's at their new house. She has no idea. So we're distracting her with cookies. Okay, so we are literally in the car heading over to the house because she's got it all set up with the stuff for Aubrey to surprise her with the puppy. So if you didn't hear what I was saying earlier, we got her a puppy. Um, we were gonna get it for Christmas, but someone was giving away this little puppy. It's a black lab for free. So we're like, we're not going to pass up taking a free puppy. So I went and got all the stuff for the puppy, like the food and the bowl and all that. And then um, Malin went and picked up the puppy and I was distracting Aubrey with baking cookies. So now we are heading over to the apartment and you guys are going to get to see Aubrey's reaction. She is going to freak out. This is going to be awesome. What the heck? I have no idea, dude. You gonna be tough? Nobody's in our house. Wait. I stuck animals were not right. Um, who put those there? They're not. What is that? Grandma! It was you! You must! I was with you the whole time! I don't know what you're talking about! We better look. Let's look. <laughs> look all the way around. Let's look. Look, Mom, it's an American. Well, why would there be dog toys if there isn't a dog in this house? Because Mom went to the store to get dog, dog stuff. And that's dog Do we stuff. have a dog? No. So we better find one. <gasps> Oh my god! 
a headband. I don't know. It was cute. Well, what are you gonna name her? Come sit on the floor. See if she likes you. <gasps> oh, oh, she does. that's it for me we are done for the day I'm gonna go home make my husband some dinner finish those cookies so then Aubrey can like decorate them for um, Thanksgiving this week and I'm so happy for her she got a new puppy and our town got the tree up <laughs> I love this we have the small town tree that they light up every year for Christmas it'll probably be lit up Fully with all the decorations and everything after this week or d this week sometime so yeah that's it from us I hope you guys have a great day I will see you tomorrow um, I got most of my shopping done so tomorrow we can just talk Disney okay I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out bye